Hi, today in this video you will see how to slide anything in Elementor and by anything I mean if you want to slide image, image box, icon box, a section, video, so on and so forth you can do it easily by watching this video and basically I already have videos about this topic so we have made sliders, testimonial sliders, static sliders, WooCommerce product sliders, so on and so forth but in this video we will see how we can create a specific section in Elementor and then how we can slide that and the reason for creating this video is I was working on this project in which we have this section. Let me zoom in. Basically this is a testimonial slider as you can see we have the image, the name and the review and then we have the dots which means that this is a slider. And I couldn't find any plugin which have this look for the slider for the testimonial slider. So I decided to make a section and then we will see how we can slide that. And uh, in one method we can use Elementor Pro and if you don't have Elementor Pro then don't worry I have a free method also so keep watching. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard and uh, here you can create a page and then edit that page with Elementor which is simple. I have opened a page with Elementor as you can see and here we can design a section and then we can slide that. So let's see how we can do that. So I need to design this thing and for this I'll create a section first with two columns and uh, first one will be for image and uh, we will add an image and then we have star rating then title subtitle so search for star rating drag this over here and we will use these colors so let's change this to 4 star and uh, you will go to style its color will be this color now you can see the empty color is different here so we will choose the same color for that and uh, let's go to and we will change the unmark style here that's it and now we will create this thing so we will copy this and uh, the size is 75 pixel weight is 600 so we will drag a heading and we will write it we will go to style we will change its color and typography so the size was 75 pixel and uh, this let's transform this to uppercase and uh, then we have the subtitle again we will copy this this is 19 pixel and 400 so just duplicate this and we will paste the text and we will change its size ok now we have this paragraph text we will copy this and we will add a text module ok and uh, let's change its color also ok and that so we will add another text let's just duplicate this and uh, we'll copy the date and uh, we will align this to right like this now let's change its size to 14 and the font family here is this one I think this is the same font family ok let's check that we added the star rating, the title, subtitle, text and the date and uh, now you can see that this text is overwriting the image and to do that we will edit this column and we'll go to advanced settings and here we can change its margin to the left side we will give this minus 100 for example or 180 150 I think this will be enough and also this is above the image so we will also give this top margin like this let's decrease this to something like minus 60 or 70 ok 100 is fine 
Now we have this section, please ignore the above section, we just have to deal with this one. Now I'll design this later on, but let me show you how we can change this to a slider. And for that we will save this as template, so just go to the section, right click and save as template. So basically we are saving this section as a template. And I'll call this testimonial1 because we are creating others also. We'll save this and uh, let's close this and let's create another one and for that I'll only change the image just to see the difference. I have a few images for this and uh, let's change its okay name is fine. So this is second one we will again save this as a template. We will call this testimonial2. And let me quickly do one more. So we'll just change the image. And uh, we'll save this as a template. Okay, now we have three testimonials and basically three sections. Let's see how we can make a slider now. And uh, if you go to your dashboard and uh, here we go to templates. You can see that we have those three templates over here. Now the first method is to use Elementor Pro, so for that you can just search for testimonial slider which is this one, testimonial carousel, this is by Elementor Pro. You can just drag this and now instead of these items we will use the short codes. so let's remove these two. We will edit the first one and instead of this text let's remove this also the title and name and uh, instead of this text we will use the short code and if you go to save templates here you can see that we have these short codes for the testimonial one we have this one we will just copy this we'll paste it and uh, we will do the same for the others like this one we'll go to second one we will duplicate this and uh, we'll copy this to the third one. Now you can see the preview is not showing but let's see. We will just update this and let's go to preview. And if I scroll down, we have this section. This is basically the slider, okay. We have this thing that is why we see two over there. Let's update this and uh, refresh this. Scroll down and uh, now we have that slider. And this needs some settings also. So we can just edit the testimonial one or second one with Elementor. And this is because the margin of this column. So we will click on the section and we'll give this some top pairing like 100. Now this part will also be visible. We will give this some button pairing also. And uh, let's update this. And remember we did only for the testimonial one, okay? Let's refresh this. And now you can see this is showing properly. And if I go to the next one, this is cut because we have traded this also. So this was how you can slide anything using Elementor. Now if you don't have Elementor Pro then what you can do is you can install another plugin called slide anything. For that you can go to plugins, click add new and here you can search for slide anything. And you will see this plugin, just install this and activate. And after you activate the plugin, you will see this menu, this a slider. You can go to add new slider. And here you can write a title for this. Let's say testimonial slider. And you can set the duration, slider transition, slide by. I'm not going in much detail and you can select the option based on your needs. And uh, here as you can see, this is slide one. 
So instead of slide content, we will use a short code. And again for that you can go to templates and you can copy the short codes. So I already have them. So I'll just paste one of them. And again you can do the settings, but let's leave this for now. We'll go to slide two. And here we will use another one for the slider three. We will paste another short code. So this is 20, this is 23 and 15, okay. And as I said, you can do the required settings for this plugin also, but this will make our video lengthy. This is just to show you that how you can slide elementary sections. So let's publish this. Once you publish this, then you can copy its short code. Let's copy this. And now instead of using this testimonial slider, we can use short code which is this one this is available in the pre elementor just drag this now we will add that short code and now let's remove the first one and update the page and we'll preview this and now as you can see we have the slider now it have arrows and the dots you can change the style of the arrows and the dots so this was how you can create a section and then you can slide this section using elementor i hope you have learned something new in this video if you want to learn more about elementor and wordface you can watch my previous videos and playlists thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video.